Concrete has amazing compressive strength, but poor tensile strength. Compressive strength resists compression, being pushed together, whereas tensile strength resists being pulled apart. I made two concrete beams. One reinforced with three half inch pieces of rebar and one with no reinforcement. Driving on the unreinforced beam that's supported by the ground causes no damage because it has good compressive strength. However, when I suspend both ends of the beam, it creates tensile strength on the bottom, causing the block with no reinforcement to break under the weight of the Jeep. Next, let's try the beam with the rebar. This time I used my much heavier F-250. The rebar dramatically improves the tensile strength. Now for the ultimate test. Can the reinforced beam support this massive roller? It chipped a little off the side, but the beam held up. Finally, I drove on it one more time with the roller and turned on the vibratory drum. This proved to be too much, even with the rebar. It shows how important it is to reinforce concrete. This concrete was still green. Let me know in the comments how many days you think it was allowed to cure after it had been poured.